Look at this framing from 1969. Believe it or not, this is a load-bearing wall. Wow, you missed a stud, bud. There's a nail, so there must have been one here at some point. It's even worse, there's no bottom plate. They went straight into the concrete with the studs. Wow. And they put this piece of one by in there so they can nail their trim. The baseboard. That's crazy. Oh dear. So yeah, I'm looking to put a pocket door in there and there. So obviously I gotta rip this all out and reframe it. In order to do that, I gotta build a wall here to hold up the master bedroom. Sheesh. You may say, oh, it's no big deal. There's a block wall here. It's probably holding some of the weight. Let's see. Apparently not. We got floaters. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't trust the wall either. It's only a four inch block. But this is basically a a firewall between the garage and the family room so you're generally going to want these all tight you're not going to want to be able to see daylight so yeah i'm gonna to have to fix the cinder block too plus somebody i think there was an air conditioner here at one time because that looks like the old outlet for it's disconnected it was inside of the wall there's a node in it so why did they go back with brick and why not just block? Just four inch block. Let's read the note. Disconnected fuse box in 2006. Huh. This is the type of stuff you run into. See what I can do. There's an attic up there too, so I gotta worry about that collapsing. Might have to investigate that a little bit too before I do anything. This is crazy. I've been on a lot of jobs, old buildings. Never seen framing like this.
support wall in. Now I feel a little better about taking this wall down. It's really hot today, it's in the 90s. And uh, but I think I need to go up there in the attic and show you the situation. I'm probably gonna get melted up there, but it is what it is. All right, so here we are in the master bedroom. This holds the door shut so the cats can't go in there. We don't want the cats in there. Oh dear, it's so hot, the door's swelled shut. So I took it upon myself to give her LED light in there. Put the light switch right here to make it easier so you can turn it on. Because look how low this is. You don't want to go in there and smack your head and stuff like that. Let's go. We're going backwards. So this is the attic. Look at this mess up here. All right, there's a nice space here for storage. We already started storing stuff. A lot of the closet doors that she's not using are up here. Her oriental rugs she had cleaned are up here. Some suitcases, some boxes. But look how they changed the rafter layout here. I don't understand why. So these are the rafters here that my temporary wall's holding on. My temporary wall, let's see, is right here, right at my foot. So at least I know the master bedroom is held up. Up here, not so sure once I take that wall down. But check this out. This is over the garage. It goes way down there. All that storage. Except they use two by sixes. So because they use two by sixes, they're all sagging. Look, they use two by sixes on the roof rafters. So of course the roof is sagging too. See if I can show you the curl. It's a little hard with this. But if you go outside and look up, looks like there's a couple soup bowls on the roof. And we were wondering what the problem was and now we know. It's brutally hot up here, but this fan definitely helps. Huh. Look at this. I can see outside. So that's not good. Listen, one of the biggest red flags of buying a house is siding. You see siding, run. This house is siding outside. And look at this. I can literally see outside. So apparently that's not waterproof. I don't know what goes on with these people, man. Usually siding is to cover up nonsense. It's never covering up anything good. Never. If you're gonna buy a house, has siding, run. Trust me, run. So here's the outside. Here's that roof I was talking about over the garage. I don't know if you can see the sagging. Looks like a couple soup bowls up there. That's no good. I'll be fixing that later on down the road. Whole new roof. Yeah, you see vinyl side and run. Why is this curved? Obviously, it's covering up some nonsense. I mean, you had it open. Why didn't you fix it first? Fix it nice and straight and then put the siding. Well, let's look around. What a horrible job. Look at the bottom, how it sticks out. Oh dear, what a horrible job. Look at this over here. Why? Why did you cut the bottom of the siding, bud, to stick in the J-channel? Why? Why is that cut? Why is it wavy cut? Look at this. I mean, you start from the bottom and you work your way up. That means a full sheet goes in the bottom. Why is this cut? I need an explanation. <laughs> I don't know what goes on but this is how the critters get in your house bugs rats mice this is how because there's usually a lot of problems behind the siding and they figure let's just cover it up with siding look at this wow, 
bud. Could you do anything straight? Look at that cut. Wow, what happened, bud? Clueless. All right, so I'm gonna set you up on my head with the GoPro. I'm all set up here. I'm gonna take this wall down. Hopefully you can see better if I put you on the head mount. to stop here. I'm thinking tomorrow I may work on the block. I'm gonna knock all these snotters off so I can point this properly. So seeing the ties 
and seeing drywall in between the block and the rafters, that tells me this was all framed out, probably plaster on the garage side and paneling <coughs> on the inside. <coughs> and then the block wall was done later. Because how else do you explain this? Not being able to point this. There was a wall in front of here. That's what it was. And I can't get this wood frame out until I take the brick out. Because, of course, the brick is sitting on the wood. That'll be tomorrow. I was going to go all the way down, but I figure I'll... See, my customer's handicapped, so I need to give him access to get out this way through the garage. To get into this bathroom. So I got this at four foot. And I got this at four foot. So you can walk through go into the bathroom and go out through the garage. It's more tough for him to go out this door because you see the step up and down. So let's, let's go back to the vinyl siding. Let me try to give him a defense. I mean, see that extension cord coming out of there? And I'm sure there's speaker wires in there. This guy was some kind of party animal lived here before, man. He's got speaker wires all over the house. So something's feeding these speakers. I mean, is that what happened? He cut it open instead of trying to peel it out? Because you could peel the bottom out and stuff your wires in there and then push it back. Is that what happened here? And he cut it for that reason? I don't know. Did the deck drop something? Let's go investigate the deck, because I got a feeling this guy, the previous homeowner, built this deck himself, too. It's a little crazy, man, when you walk on it. it definitely wobbles. Now, I understand the situation here. There's not a lot of digging going on here without a machine, because it's all boulders. This is like a mountain, and they put dirt over top, and they tried to grow sod. Look at it. That's what this whole place is. And they threw some dirt on top, and apparently it worked because something grew here. But look at this deck. I like the six by sixes they used. Let's climb up this crap and hope I don't trip. Huh. Looks like some nonsense went on. Definitely looks like there's a crown. Hmm. Looks like there's some kind of concrete patio over there I never even knew about. Look at that, he laid screen down. I guess to keep the bugs coming up. There's some electric here I didn't know about. Something's obviously living under here. See all the paw prints. Probably a red fox. I don't know. Hmm. Is this cable wire? He's even got a cable wire out here. Yep, something's definitely living under here. Plenty of pole prints. And you're looking way up there. I don't know if you can see. It looks like another hole that goes in in the house plenty of holes and there's no way jamie's fitting up under there looks like a foot there's no way i'm going up there so here's the brick i gotta remove Yeah, 
that's behind all this. So this is going to be a fun job for the kid tomorrow. He's going to have to move all this stuff. Let me get up in there. There it is. See that nonsense? Well, the kid's going to have to move all this stuff first. Because when I break them, they're probably going to come this way into the garage. Fun times for the kid. Hehehehe. <laughs>